Tonight he's got Delabar, the tight end, across the 20, near the first down stick. Andy Delabar, the sophomore from Minot Bishop Ryan High School. He's out near a first down. Mark Spurl says he's pointing to the left, so if Mark is right, it should be a Bison first down. And I think you've got this one eyed, Mark. That's an easy one. That's a whole yard. That was a good play that time again. It's the same action that they've been running, the running plays. You know, kind of a sprint draw action, offensive movement coming to the left. But that time, Stouts bootlegged out to his right, and Delabar was real wide open, made a good play out of it, got the first down. Bison going with a quicker count. Malone with the carry, hit hard. He's got some yards across the 25, out near the 28. Well, the Grizzlies are going to have some good material for their season-ending highlight tape because they've laid some licks to the Bison here today. It's gone both ways, but it seems like the more dramatic hits have been made by the guys in the dark shades. There you see Tony Stouse's numbers, and after a slow first half, everybody on the Bison offense has really picked it up here in the second. Now, if you watch, if Rod Malone carries the ball, watch the difference you can see maybe between he and Kyle Steffen. He's a little taller as he runs through that hole and isn't able to bounce quite as much as Kyle Steffes is. Second and seven, Stouts under center, single receiver each side, quick hitter looking for Belquist. He's got it. Oh, and he was one shake and tackle away from making it into a big gainer. As it is, though, he may have another first down. Jason DeSalva was able to hang on to the ankle of, Am of uh, Elliot Belquist. That was a... That was, there were a couple of little things there that time. DeCoit came in from his strong safety spot, just about knocked that ball away, and Belquist just about broke it right there, but DeSelva was able to hog time and hold him down by the ankle. The Bison have predominantly thrown those quick out passes or those quick hitches out in the flat today. They have not thrown the ball downfield very often today. And Mark's talked about it in the first half. They may be setting something up deep down the field. Malone in a tailback. Alan Burrell in motion. Give, no fake give. Stouse looking for Weezer. He's got it. Another good gain on first down. And Weezer's out to the 45. Near and another DSU first with its own 45. The crowd now rises up. Malone, good yardage up the middle, across the 50. Keeps working, keeps going, breaks through, tackles. He's down to the 41. Inside Montana territory. This thing's getting interesting. 9.03 to play. The Bison on the move, down 12. 24-12, but it's first and 10 NDSU at the 41 of Montana. Stout's quick hitter, Burrell the catch, finds a little room, cuts back. My goodness, he's coming back to this side. He's got more room inside the 35, and he's down to the 34. NDSU on the march, first and 10 at the Montana 25-yard line. 7.53 to play, it's 24-12 Montana. The Grizzlies own the first half, but the Bison have owned the second. Marcus Johnson, it another been a play. night and day difference in the second half. The Bison offense marching down the field again. It's second down and a yard. Back to the eye, give it to Malone. He's got the first down and a bunch more. He's down to the 11. I think the Bison offensive line took that first half personally. I, I don't know what the coaches may have said, and I, I don't know exactly what, uh, what the offensive line coach is like as far as uh, ranting and raving at halftime, but you can see Rob Hunt right there in the middle of your screen. He is imploring his guys to keep that effort going, and I think they, they just wanted to show this Montana defensive line that they can play some football out in North Dakota. The Bison have dug in their heels in the second half, and they have fought back. Offense, defense, and special teams. It's first and 10 at the 11. Malone reverse. Burrell's got some room. Stouse with a block. Burrell's going to score. Touchdown, NDSU. Trickery, trickery, trickery. Oh, is that pretty? You can see it developing from the snap. The Bison had been rushing so effectively and the entire Grizzly defense shifted right and the reverse came back to the left and Alan Burrell takes it to the house. It's 24-18, Corey Vartanian in to attempt the, the extra have point. knocked the Grizzlies on their heels. Montana trying to answer back, second down and 10 from their 20. Disney handoff, this is Waller and he's got nothing, maybe a yard. NDSU strong from the rear side pursuit. That's Frank Irby making the tackle, Somerville and Jordan Graff. Well, NDSU has the Montana Grizzlies third and 14, Montana on its own 15 yard line. Disney back to pass, Bison rush four. Disney buying time, rolls out. He throws it near sideline, it's kicked yeah. off. Garrett Esler, the interception, will it be in bounds? Yes! NDSU football in the Bison sideline is going crazy. Travis Ware.
got the push up the middle. He just kept pushing his guy, pushing his guy back, making Disney roll to his right and forced it to the outside. Disney was trying to throw the ball away. Here you can see it, but watch Jamel Thomas on the inside. Watch the guy that's hanging on to him. He's got a hold of his head right there. He's just hanging on to his jersey, but here comes Disney rolling out to his right, and here comes the interception right here. He's trying to throw it away. Doesn't get it far enough to the outside. Jared Essler makes a great play, comes underneath it, and picks it off. 6.09 to play. Montana 24, NDSU 19. First and 10 Bison on the Montana 36-yard line. The officials need to reset the clock. The Bison looking for a go-ahead score. NDSU now believing it can pull off a shocker in Missoula. Staus under center. Three receivers in the formation. Rod Malone the tailback. Staus wants to throw. A screen. Malone with some yards in front of him. Gets it inside the 30. That's a good gain on first down. He gets it to the 29-yard line. And when this score is updated on stadiums around the North Central Conference this afternoon, after hearing the early 24-2 score, there will be a lot of rumbles through the crowd. Referees are adjusting the, the down markers over there. They, uh, the front stick was uh, a yard short. Well, this appreciate the help, guys. Sorry, Steve, this is a big play for the Bison offense. They don't necessarily have to get the first down. Obviously, it'd be nice to do that, but with third and about eight, they are kind of in four-down territory that if they get close, they might go for it here. The Montana fans rise to their feet, urging on their defense. Stout's under center. He wants to throw. Good protection. He's got a man. It's Travis White inside the 30 to the 22, and that's going to be a Bison first down. The NDSU offense strikes on third and eight. A play that goes for about 13, and it's a Bison first down. And Tony Staus is saying thank you to all of his offensive linemen. Deep drop right here. Good protection. Travis White comes all the way across the formation, and uh, Rod Malone almost tried to get his hands up on that one and catch that one, but it's a good thing he didn't. First down, good play that time by the Bison. Back split behind Tony Staus. Step us into the ball game. Is that Jor Jason Jordan? I see. No, Ryan Simmers in the ball game. In the backfield, Stouse under pressure, and he has two seconds to play. It's 24-19 Montana. NDSU faced with a third and 17. Penalties today. You see, NDSU has been hurt several times by big penalties. Nine of them for 85 yards. Even so, they've got a chance to win the ball game in the fourth quarter. Third down and 17 from the 30. They need to get to the 13. Stouts back, draw, step. Got a little bit of room to the outside, to the 20, and he's tackled there. down and seven. Boy, now the decision, Mark, what do you do? That's a, that's a good question. They're going to try the field goal, or are they? Well, Corey Vartanian, oh, excuse me, that was Alan Burrell that was coming out the field. It looked like Vartanian stepped on and stepped off, but with two number ones on the team. It'll be Vartanian into the ball game to attempt what will be a 37-yard field goal. Or are they? Could they run a fake? You never know. You never know. On the road. Down the kick. No, it is a fake. Rod Malone can run or throw. He's going to throw it. And it's caught. Mike Weezer touched down on the fake field goal. And the Bison lead. Holy cow. Rod Malone on the touchdown pass. What a catch by Mike Weezer. Holy cow. Fans, do you believe what you are seeing? NDSU leads this football game 25 to 24 on an unbelievable, first of all, play call. Here it is. Second Here's of all, the replay. Execution. John Bonicelli on the snap, flips it up to Rod Malone, Corey Vartanian, great fake coming through. And on the outside, David DeCoit was chasing the underneath receiver. You can see it. Maybe you'll be able to see it on this replay. But Rod Malone on the outside here just lays it out perfectly. And what a catch. Lay it out, Mike Weezer. And you see the event staff guy going, oh, no. And the crowd of 23,102 is absolutely stunned.